Uh, right here, second row. What's your name? Ben. Ben. Pleasure to meet you, Ben. I'm Ryan. Uh, ben, you want to play a quick game? Sure. Okay. Ben, do you see a suit you like? I do. Is it mine? <laughs> I'm just going for it. I'm going for it. Uh, I'm guessing one of these. Which one? Diamonds. The diamonds. Okay. We're going to use the ace of diamonds for something. And we're going to use a couple of other cards as well. They're all going to be diamonds. That way it'll be easy to follow along. Okay? And now you said this is your first time here, right? Correct. Okay. Then we're not going to play this game for money. <laughs> I just don't want you to hate me at the end of this. Okay? Right. I'm going to put them in order to help you out. And the only thing you have to remember is to know that the Ace of Diamonds is always the card on top. If you have that, you can't lose. You ready to play? Ready. Here we go. What card is on top? <laughs> Ace of Diamonds. Yeah, dude, crushing the game. So good, right? But look, by that logic, that means the second card is always the two, okay? The third card is always the three. The four is always the four. Do you see a pattern forming here? I do. What's the fifth card? Come on, come on, so good. You see, by knowing what's on top, you can lose. My move is first, okay? okay. Watch me close. That's it, that's the whole move. <laughs> what card's on top? Five. Okay, I just told you the rules. The ace is always the card on top. Let me explain again. <laughs> you see, the ace is on top, which means the second card is the two, right? Okay. After the two, over here we have the crushing it. Now look, if this is the four, what card's after the four? Five. Isn't this card on top? <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, we have the ace on top, <laughs> which means the second card is the two, right? The three down here in the middle, the four is next, and that five is way down on bottom. Can, yeah, <laughs> appreciate Can I, let me explain something, okay? This isn't a game. <laughs> this is a con. Don't play this game, <laughs> all right? <laughs> but I want to show you how this works. Say we take one of those aces, and it goes in the middle of the pack. The cards are smart enough to know to always correct themselves. <laughs> Meaning that that ace always travels back up to the top, right? Every time. But you see, now that you know what you're looking for, watch it closely. Watch it close. Closer. 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 <laughs> watch that ace. Look, it goes way down here in the middle, yes? Yep. You wait just a second. Every time that card will travel back up, always correcting itself. It's not me, it's the cards is what I'm saying. <laughs> but people always accuse me of having extra aces, so we'll do it with the two this time, okay? Watch the two. Look, the two goes as far away as it can from where it belongs, yes? You wait just a second, and every time that two will travel back up, it always corrects itself. Thank you, one person. I appreciate you. But here's the thing, I'll, I know it's hard to follow. I'll do it face up, that way you can't miss it, okay? So watch those cards. We'll even give them a mix, so none of them are where they should be, right? Look, if these were gonna be in order, that ace would have to be where? At the top, that's the only rule. That two would then be here, right? That three would have to shift all the way down to the middle. That four goes over one, and that five would be all the way down on bottom. A lot has to move for them to go where they need to be, right? Or you can do one thing. You see, you can take a card from the middle, the ace of diamonds, and the second that ace goes on top, that's when it all changes. Because look, after that ace, you should have the two, right? And after that two, you have the three. Falling, the three is the four, and last but not least, is that five of diamonds. Thank you. Do you want to play for money now?